episode three of the Whiskey Jug. I'm your host, Schwa, and today we're talking about scotch. Uh, scotch is one of the most popular and plentiful types of whiskey around. Uh, when you go to the liquor store, you will, you'll see just rows and rows of scotch compared to, you know, just a couple of rows and shelves of Irish, American, Canadian, and you're lucky if you find a bottle from any other uh, place around the world that makes it. But um, it's definitely the most popular. One of the reasons is that in Scotland they have around 90 distilleries. When you compare that to Ireland's four distilleries, you can see why there's a whole lot more of this stuff hanging around. Now, the scotch comes from five major regions, and there's also five specific types of scotch. But when you're talking about it in a whole, there's some characteristics that really unify a scotch. Number one is that it's distilled in Scotland. Um, it has to be distilled at least twice. It's got to be matured for a minimum of three years and one day. Um, many of them use a peat smoke to treat the malt so that you get that kind of campfire smoky taste to them. And when you really look at it, there's two main types of scotch, which is malt or grain. Um, when you're talking about the types of scotch, you have the single malt, which is some of the more prized scotches are the ones that people really gravitate to and see as kind of the higher end. And after that, you've got some of the single grain, which are really rare because most of the grain whiskeys are used in the blends. Now you have a blended malt, which used to, until November of 2009 was called vatted malt. But so you'll still see vatted malt in some of the older bottlings. And uh, so in single malt, some of the older bottles will say pure malt, but uh, right now it's all just blended malt. Then you have a blended grain whiskey, and then you have just a plain blended whiskey, uh, which uses both grain and malt, and it doesn't really matter what you know concentration each is in, it's just all blended. Now when you're talking about the regions that whiskey comes from in Scotland, uh, you have the Highland, the Lowland, the Isla, which is spelled I-S-L-A-Y, so it's not Islay, it's Isla. And then you have the Speyside and the Campbelltown. Now the Campbelltown is going to be some of the more rare whiskey you come across because a few years ago it was removed as um, a distilling area and then recently it was reinstated. So probably not going to see some of the Campbelltown whiskeys too soon, but probably the next year or so. Um, Speyside, which uh, Speyburn is a uh, scotch that comes from Speyside, has the most distilleries out of all the regions in Scotland. They have the majority of them. Um, when you're talking about the whiskeys and you see things on there like uh, Lowland or Highland or you know, you know, Islay or whatever it is, they're going to have different characteristics to them. And a lot of that comes down to the, you know, the distillers and the grains they use and the malts they use and the farmers and the water that they use. Um, specific whiskeys like Speyburn, they even talk about how much you know, the, the rivers there, the water, plays into making their whiskey. Um, so really when it comes down to it, you're also going to get a lot of different flavors. Um, some of your, your Isla whiskeys are going to be a lot smokier and be, be a bit more aggressive when you go to taste them. If you like something that's a little bit lighter when it comes to the flavors, uh, you're going to want to look for um, something from either like a Speyside Distillery or the Highland, the Lowland. They're a little bit more bold, but they're not overly aggressive, not compared to the Islet. Uh, you have some of the blended whiskeys, which when you try those, uh, they're a lot more mellow. They use characteristics of some of the malts and grains. They produce a much more even taste. And the art of blending whiskeys was really perfected by our friend Johnny Walker here, which if you're watching this on thewhiskeyjug.com, right below here, I'm going to have a uh, link to a video that really talks about it. It's just an amazing video that talks about the history of Johnny Walker and you know how you know long time ago when Johnny Walker was just a wee lad he uh, had some dis he had his own whiskeys that you know a lot of the whiskeys were being blended and they're not very good or they're the single malts and they're the groceries and they're, you know they really 
weren't very consistent, and then he really perfected the art of blending the whiskeys so they could create a good, consistent taste, and that's what helped really uh, push him forward in the world of whiskey. So when you're getting into scotch, you know, it's really going to have to depend on your taste. If you like the really thick, smoky flavors, head for one of the Islay. They are just, they're a lot more powerful and smoky. If you like the more mellow tastes, you know, head for something like a Speyside or a Highland, Lowland. Lowland's a little bit more spicy, a little bit smokier in my opinion. And if you're looking for something that's just really mellow, you're just not really into the to the harsh oak or um, you know the aggressive oak or smoky taste, go for a nice blend like the like the Chivas here. So um, I would love to hear from you and what your favorite scotch is, any scotch stories you have, or anything you'd like to see put on for a tasting panel. Uh, which scotch is actually gonna be our first tasting panel coming up in a couple weeks. And until episode four, cheers.